my name is May. I'm a third year medical student and I have a ton of hobbies and art is one of them. Uh, I'm Rahul. I am in school for art direction and I'm a freelance artist on the side. Uh, my medium of choice is acrylic on canvas. Uh, so I'm Zoheb Hawk. Uh, I'm a third year medical student at Midwestern University and I like brunch, hip hop, and art, specifically graffiti and street art. Currently I do a huge mixture of stuff. Um, I draw on my iPad using different apps. I took a few classes during my undergrad at WashU um, for like painting and pastels. So that's where I learned how to use color. I really like um, painting. It's probably my favorite because um, you can just do whatever you want on the canvas and you're just kind of there in the moment. But uh, I like graphic design too, I love drawing, I really like video editing, although I'm not that good at it. And uh, I'm trying to learn animation, so um, I guess we'll see what I decide I want to do in the future. So the scratch board, um, I kind of like that concept because you can get a lot of precision and detail. Uh, but you really have to be aware of like negative space, which for like oil painting and like line art, it's like the complete opposite. I did one piece freshman year of the Jaguar, um, and just this month I was trying to complete a three panel piece of animals, so like a mammal, reptile, and a bird. Uh, I only have the reptile like half done, but the concept is there. My style? was kind of a fluke, I guess. Um, I started doing black and white because uh, mixing colors and color matching and all that stuff takes forever and paint is expensive. And um, So I just thought black and white would be faster and easier and I'd be able to get my idea out like as I was thinking about it instead of having to wait forever for things to dry and stuff like that. And now that kind of became my style. Just recently, I started doing some like body art, so body painting for Halloween and um, some tattoo designs. So that's fun and temporary though. Um, the tattoo on Raul was an amazing acrylic artist. I've never used acrylic paint, so it's really cool that you can do everything in black and white. Um, yeah, I did that piece on his forearm. That wasn't, I don't think it's, I wasn't super creative with it because I was copying down a piece that I found online. Um, yeah, but it was fun. I like doing tattoos just because it, it's like on a person and it moves with the person. So it's like a moving piece of artwork. I was never very an artistic person when I was growing up. Um, you know, mainly focusing just in like on studying and science and math and stuff, but then um, I started like, you know, once Instagram started like coming about and being more popular, I got on and, you know, you notice all the street art that's around Chicago and other various cities, then, you know, you get, in I got intrigued by that. So then, um, you know, just going around the city and looking at all this, looking at the gra all the graffiti and, um, then I, you know, just kind of dabbled in my own. Uh, I saw a BuzzFeed article about a guy that was drawing on Starbucks cups and I was like, okay, let me transition to Snapchat, you know? And then, uh, you know, I just started my own. Uh, first year, I was kind of bored at Starbucks and saw my cup and drew on it and then sent it to people and people enjoyed it, so. Um, I really like um, H.R. Geiger. The guy who designed Alien and that entire series, uh, Simon Stallenhag is cool. He does a bunch of like futuristic stuff set in like 1970s, 19. So there will be like some random little town in Russia and a giant robot in the background and all these like old-fashioned cars in front, and it's a cool contrast between like future and past. Um, so like specifically like. All the Chicago artists, like there's J.C. Rivera, Hebrew Brantley, 
um, you know, I support all those Chicago artists that, you know, they're, they're really started off with graffiti, Scent Rock, all those guys. Um, you know, that's like, it, it was all Instagram that got them big and that's kind of like how I followed them and just uh, been big since, ever since then. I don't know, I have a lot of different influences from like Reddit and Instagram and there's just so many good ways to find good artwork now that it's hard to decide who's your favorite and who you're influenced by because subconsciously you're influenced by everyone and everything that you see. I guess during med school I spent some time converting some of my classmates into their anime counterpart, which was fun. The first question I asked them is what do they want to be? Like not something fictional, or like it can be fictional, but it's something that they can't be normally. So I think Ben wanted to be Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. So I drew him in like carrying Gandalf's staff and in the robes and a Balrog in the back. Because that's, you know, one of the most epic fight scenes, you know, in Lord of the Rings. Uh, Zan, she wanted to be Anna from Frozen. Uh, and so the difficult part is making sure that the characters look like the people I'm trying to represent. Oh, and converting people to animals. So Alexis, she wants to be a leopard, so I give her leopard ear, uh, ears and tail. So that's like some of the more fun aspects of seeing what people want to be that they can't actually be and then drawing them as that. So the pieces that I brought, there's one that is about Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Um, I did that one after I saw the movie. And then there's one of, of Microsporum because I was in med school for two years before I decided to take the creative direction. There's one of Stranger Things, which is just basically a black canvas with the uh, one of the main characters in it and the monster in the background. Then there's one of a deer uh, on a big staircase, and I think that was kind of inspired by Legend of Zelda a little bit. Um, I just really love the art style of that entire series of video games. Yeah, you can find some of my art on DeviantArt. Uh, that's a website that I use actually to get a lot of um, inspiration from because there's a ton of really, really good artists on there. My website is studioralu.com. Studio, uh, R-A-L-U.com. And my email address is the same. I'm on Instagram at stuff. Uh, underscore by underscore ra ra so if you like my work feel free to check me out on there and um, hopefully I'll be putting out a lot more stuff in the future when people tell me like it's nice or like oh my god that's amazing it's like it's pretty it's pretty encouraging to hear that and um, that's why I continue to do it just because it's an first it's like a nice study break and then you know it's just it's just a way of spending some time outside of medical school and studying to do these things so